Welcome back to Game Design with Scratch. Today we are going to learn how to create a Guess My Number game. This game is a lot of fun to build as well as play, and we will create some pretty cool animations in the process. Let's get started. Let's start by playing the game so we can get a feel for what it does. So when I click the green flag, the first thing that happens is the computer prompts me to guess a number between 1 and 100. But what we don't get to see is right before the computer outputs this prompt, it secretly selects a number between 1 and 100. Now, of course, that number is random and the computer is storing it somewhere so it can compare it to our guesses. Now, before I enter my first guess, I just want to point out to you guys that I have six chances to guess the number, and you will see this number over here decreasing each time my guess is incorrect. So, okay, I'm ready for my first guess. I'm going to enter the number 50, since it's right in the middle. Too high. And the computer says it's too high. And the first thing my students always ask is, is that your voice? So, yes, it is but I will show you how to record your own voice later on if you, if you wish. So, okay, the computer says 50 is too high, so I'm going to guess 25. Now, before I do that, I just want you to pay attention to what happens to these arrows over here after I enter my guess. So let's type in 25 too and the computer high. again says it's too high, but, it's also, but it also shows us that our guess is too high by animating these arrows. So that's pretty cool, and we are going to learn all about how to create this effect in step five. Okay, so 25 is still too high, so let's guess 12 this time. Too low. Okay, 12 is too low, so I know my number is greater than 12 and smaller than 25. And I have three guesses left. I am going to enter 19. Too low. Too low. Okay, I have narrowed it down to 20, 21, 22, 23, or 24, but I only have two guesses left. Ah. Okay, let's see, I'm going to go with 22. Look at that, I got it! Woohoo! Oh, and my chances message over here changed to inform me that I won the game. So that's pretty handy, and I'm sure you guys can guess that's done by switching the costume of this particular sprite. So we will be working on building that as well. Okay, so let's get you guys all set up with the starter project so we can start building this game. Below this video, click the Get the Starter Project button. Enter your email address and the download for your starter project should get to you pretty much instantaneously. So I'm going to head over to my inbox, open up my email and click this download button. This will download a starter project with this .sp2 extension, either into your downloads folder or some other folder where you choose to save it. Now let's open up Scratch, click on Create to create a new project, and then go to File, Upload from your computer, navigate to the place where you save this file, and click Open. It's going to ask you if you want to replace the contents of the current project, and yes we do, so click OK. Okay, let's take a look at what we have to work with. Down in our sprite panel, we have three sprites. We have our driver or host, and behind the sprite is where most of our code is going to be. We have our arrow sprite, which has 10 different costumes, and we're going to use all of them to animate the arrows. And like I said before, I'm going to show you how to do that in step five, but just to get those wheels in your brain turning, let me show you what the costumes look like. So costume number one is just the plain arrows. And then here is costume number two, costume number three, costume number four, and costume number five. So you guys can probably already guess that we're going to use this set of costumes to show that a guess is too low. Now costume number six is again the plain arrows. And yes, we need both costume number one and costume number six, even though they're exactly the same, and I will show you why later on, but just as a side note and also a little hint, it is very important that we keep these costumes in this order. So please don't play with them or move them around, and if you happen to do that, please make sure you put them back in the right order or this animated effect 
will not work as expected. Okay, let's look at the next set of costumes. And as you can probably already guess, these are going to be used to show that a guess is too high. So here is costume number seven, costume number eight, costume number nine, and finally costume number 10. So creating an animated effect like this is something we haven't touched on yet. And I think it will be fun to build. And like I said, we're going to work on that in step five. Okay, our third and last sprite is this messages sprite. And it has eight different costumes, one for each of the six chances, and then one for when the player wins, and one for when the player loses. Our stage is pretty boring. It only has one backdrop, which is just going to serve as the background for the game. So not much to explain there. And I think we're ready to start building this game. So let's head over to step one and start out by building a pretty basic game where our player only has one chance to get the number. 